Let me start with a strange question. What if I told you you are not just in your body, not even just in your brain? You are everywhere, all around, in the sky, in the stars, in the room you are sitting in, and even in the people you meet. Sounds crazy, right? But modern science is beginning to uncover something that ancient mystics have whispered for centuries. Your consciousness is not local. It doesn't sit quietly inside your head. It is part of an invisible, mysterious field spread across space and time. And today, I am going to take you on a journey through science, quantum physics, near-death experiences and the deepest nature of your awareness to prove that you are not just a person. You are a field, a wave, a presence that cannot be trapped in this little body. Let's begin with the obvious. We have been told that consciousness comes from the brain, that it is just neurons firing electricity. But here is the big mystery. There is no scientific proof that consciousness is produced by the brain. Yes, we can measure brain activity when you think. Yes, we can see the patterns in the brain. But there is no evidence that the brain creates consciousness. It's like watching a TV screen and assuming the TV is creating the movie. But in reality, the signal is coming from somewhere else and the screen is just displaying it. So, if the brain is not the origin of consciousness, then where is it? Let's now zoom in to the mysterious world of quantum physics. In 1935, Einstein and his colleagues discovered something strange. It was called quantum entanglement. If two particles are entangled, then changing one instantly changes the other, no matter how far apart they are, even if they are on opposite ends of the universe, instantly, faster than the speed of light. Einstein called it a spooky action at a distance. Now, here is the shocking part. Recent experiments are showing that human consciousness behaves in a similar way. In 2004, researchers at the University of Arizona conducted an experiment with two people meditating together. One person was placed in a completely sealed room. No signal, no wire, no visuals. The other person was shown flashes of light. Surprisingly, the brain of the person in the sealed room started to show changes at the exact same moments as the light flashes the other person was seeing. They were entangled, connected as if their minds were non-local, not limited by space or walls. and. This was not just a one-time thing. Dr. Dean Redden, chief scientist at the Institute of Noetic Sciences, has performed dozens of similar studies, all showing that human minds can influence each other from a distance. No wires, no physical connection, just pure conscious connection. Now, let's go one step deeper. Thousands of people across the world have reported near-death experiences where their brain had completely stopped functioning, yet they experienced something. They floated above their body. They saw doctors working. They moved through walls. They entered a light or even saw events happening far away from the hospital. But how is this possible if the brain was dead? Dr. Pim Van Lommel a Dutch cardiologist studied hundreds of patients who had cardiac arrest. Some of them had flat EEGs, no brain activity, yet they came back with clear detailed memories, including things that happened in other rooms. In his book, Consciousness Beyond Life, 
Dr. Pim concluded that consciousness is not produced by the brain but received by it. Just like a radio receives radio waves. Turn off the radio and the music seems to stop. But the signal is still there. Which means when your brain shuts off, your consciousness keeps going. Because it was never inside you to begin with. So, if your consciousness is not inside your head and it can exist beyond the body, where exactly is it? Let me introduce you to a powerful idea. The non-local consciousness field. Just like there is a gravitational field or an electromagnetic field, there is a field of pure awareness. It connects all living beings. It holds all memories, all possibilities and you are part of it. In fact, you are it. Dr. Larry Dossey, a pioneer in integrative medicine, called it the one mind. He said, consciousness is not confined to individuals. It is non-local, shared and infinite. And this field explains so many mysteries. Why you sometimes feel someone watching you? Why mothers sense their children are in danger, even across the world? Why ancient yogis said, Aham Brahmasmi, I am the universe. Because you are not in your body. Your body is in you. The vast field of infinite awareness. Friends, during the Global Consciousness Project at Princeton University, researchers placed random number generators all around the world. During major emotional global events like 9-11, the numbers became less random. It was as if global consciousness was influencing machines. In the morphic field theory by Dr. Rupert Sheldrake, he showed that once rats learned a task in one location, rats in other countries could learn it faster suggesting memory is stored in a field, not in individual brains. Not just this, in the 1970s, the CIA funded experiments where people could describe distant places without ever being there. Many were accurate. Consciousness was reaching across space. Here is a metaphor that might blow your mind. Imagine a wave rising in the ocean. It looks like a separate thing. It has a shape, a height, a location. But in truth, it is just the ocean in motion. You are like that wave. You seem like a separate person, but in truth, you are the entire ocean in motion. Your consciousness is not trapped in this skull. It is the entire field expressing itself through this body. This also explains why you feel peace when sitting under the stars? Why meditation makes you feel vast and timeless? Because in those moments, you stop being a wave. You feel the ocean. Friends, if you are not just this body, if you are not just your thoughts, but a non-local limitless field of consciousness, then nothing can truly separate you. Distance, illusion, time, illusion, death, just a change in form. You are not limited to a location. You are not defined by your past. You are not even stuck in your future. You are and always have been everywhere. This truth has been whispered in the ancient Upanishads, echoed in the teachings of the mystics and now confirmed by the frontiers of science. Friends, let's end this video with an experiment. Close your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath. Now shift your attention outside your body. Imagine your awareness expanding like light filling the room. Now your awareness is spreading into the sky. Now reaching the mountains, the stars, the edge of the universe.
stay there silent still vast okay now open your eyes and ask yourself where exactly are you now because once you realize your consciousness is not inside you you will also realize you have never been small you have always been everything you are not in the universe the universe is in you you are everywhere always were always will be thank you for watching